Hi, I'm David Fitzgerald, and I'm the designer of the zombie board game Dead Things. This game is different. First of all, it's very easy to play. Second of all, it's cooperative. What that means is, if one player wins, all the players win. If one player loses, they all lose. The game can play with one to six players. Primarily, there are four characters that are played with two optional. The game also works really well solo. It takes about 30 minutes. We've had some games go to as long as 45 minutes, but we've discovered the longer the game goes, the higher chances are that you're going to get eaten. It's actually a very simple game. Usually by the second turn, people aren't looking at the rules anymore. And part of that is because a lot of the information you need to play the game is printed on the map board. The turn order is determined by this deck. So we're gonna turn this card over and it's the human card. So what that means is all the humans on the board would have a chance to move and, and shoot and to look for things. So that phase is over, let's move to the next phase. The next phase we pull a card, it's a zombie card. Now it could have just easily been another human card, but in this case the zombie card came up and it's the zombie move. What that means is all zombies will move towards the closest human. Let's take another phase. It's another zombie card, but in this case we're going to be adding zombies to the board. So we're gonna turn this card over it's the end of the turn. What that means is this turn is over and we move to another turn. And as the turns go on, the game gets harder. The characters win by investigating a vehicle. For example, we're gonna have Clyde investigate this car. We turn it over and it says here that this car has keys, but no gas. So we need to find some gas somewhere on the board. Becca's over here. She's going to investigate this space. We turn it over. In this case, it's gas. It could have been something else. So what the player characters need to do at this point is they all need to meet with the gas here at this car and end the turn. And they win. Okay, let's take a look at the game components. Uh, we have 11 geomorphic map boards. And these are the inside of the buildings and the streets. We have nine of these cards. They're double-sided. There's a car on one side and what's inside the car on the other side. We have a character deck for the characters. We also have a movement deck, which you'll remember controls how the game moves. And we have these stuff tokens. We have 10 of these that are scattered throughout the map board. We also have six human characters and what would a zombie game be without zombies we have four different types of zombies that's the game dead things the zombie board game that plays like a zombie movie it's fast it's easy and it's fun you're gonna like it